Hi, Jay here from Five Minutes Fitness. What we're going to be talking about today is the relationship between the hip flexors and the lower back. So often, what you'll hear is that the hip flexors are tight. That's pulling the individual into an anterior tilt, excessive load doses, and causing back pain. However, as said in previous videos, often the hip flexors can be tight because they're functionally weak. So they need strengthening. Now, the QLs, which are muscle on either side of the lower back, they are often tense, resulting in back pain. Now we've got to think, when a muscle's tense, is it just becoming tense for the hell of it? Or is it because supporting muscles aren't pulling the weight, causing that muscle to overwork? Or is it because the opposing muscles are weak and tense, and therefore that muscle has to overwork as well? It starts to tighten to compensate, potentially for a lack of stability. So what we're going to be showing you today is how we can release the QLs, and work on the hip flexors, which is going to hopefully restore that balance, that right motor control, and it's going to help you be pain free. So, first thing first, we're going to release the QL. We're going to take a ball against the wall. It can be done while I have a floor, however, my personal favourite is up against the wall. As you can see, we took off a bit of pain. Plenty of people are going to be rolling the lower backs. Yeah, so ball into the lower back. From there, just roll the area. If you find any trigger points then in referred pain, just apply pressure, allow for that root referred pain to dissipate. Holding it like so, really working the muscle for one to two minutes. Obviously work both sides. From there, we've got a hip flexor drill, which I did a short video on recently, with a small loop band, low tension, working right the way through into around 120 degrees of hip flexion. Like I said, when we did the other video, you can work into an external rotation, but you're just going to do a solar march. This can be done while standing or on the floor. I quite like the standing drill because it really allows you to work on that hip stability. From there, another hip flexor drill, which I like doing, is progressing it into a more powerful hip flexion. So you use a heavier band. Again, this can be done on the floor. However, I like to do it up against some, uh, the rig or wall. From there, we're going to do like a wall spin firing the hip flexors. You can hold it at the top or working quite fast, intense contractions, really getting the fast twitch fibers working. So basically what we're doing here, we're releasing the tense muscle, i.e. the QLs, and then we're working on the opposing muscle, i.e. the hip flexors, which might actually be tense as well as a result of that imbalance. Releasing this, strengthening this, ingraining that correct motor control and leaving us pain free. Give it a go.